hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 63 of Influence and Growth Mastery. I am your host, Tanya Gossage, and today we have a truly inspiring topic to discuss. How would your most powerful self redirect your life if there were no limits? How would you redirect your life if you had no limits? So go ahead, grab you a cup of coffee, grab you a soda, glass of wine, whatever it is, depending upon the time of day, but your favorite beverage, sit back, let's dive into this thought-provoking journey or self-discovery. Let's talk about the understanding of your most powerful self. Our first step in this process is truly understanding what it means to be your most powerful self. And when I say powerful, I'm not just talking about um, your physical strength, your worldly success. It's really about tapping into your, your full potential and realizing what your inner greatness is. It's taking a moment to reflect on a few questions, really. It's um, <clears throat> what would you achieve? What would you achieve if fear, doubt, and limitations didn't exist? That's what I talk about when I say there are no limits. So if all of those things were taken away, how would you redirect your life? How powerful could your life be if there were no limits? How would you truly change your life if there were no limits? How would you or how would your life change if you truly believed in your ability to create the life that you want? Do you really believe that you could create the life that you want? And I'm going to pause for just a second and let you reflect upon those questions. You know, as you consider those questions, I want you to keep in mind that your most powerful self, it's not distant. It's not an obtainable goal. It's an ever evolving version of yourself that you can, you can continuously work towards you just need to know how you just need to know the strategies for how you evolve into that person you know it's about striving for growth and embracing change and allowing yourself to dream big did you hear me Allowing, allowing yourself to dream big. Many of you, you don't even know how to dream big. That's been taken away from you. You've been robbed of that. But over time, I want to teach you that. So many things have been stolen from you. But now that we've explored what it means to be your most powerful self, let's identify some limitations that hold you back. These limitations, they can come in many forms. Limiting beliefs, we've talked about some of these before. Their fears their external pressures from society is some, from your friends, from your family. Ugh, 
ah, your family, really? Your friends, really? Mm. Your job, really? Mm. Yourself, yikes, it's a big one. You self-sabotage yourself. I want you to take just a moment and I want you to think about the areas in your life where you feel stuck or where you feel limited. And I want you to write them down. You may not have a pencil and paper right there beside you, but I guarantee you, you have your phone. Pull up your notes. And if you can't do it right now because you're listening or you're driving or whatever, make yourself a voice note to, or go back and listen to this podcast. But take a moment to think about the areas in your life where you feel stuck or that you feel limited. And I want you to take note of them. I want you to remember that it's essential that you be honest with yourself when you go through this process. And by acknowledging the limitations, you can start working to over, over, begin to overcome them and create a life of limitless potential. I think I told you this not long ago, if you listen to all of my podcasts, I sat down and I created a list of all my strengths, weaknesses, areas of my opportunities, and areas where there were threats. And if you don't want somebody to get a hold of this, get you an app. You can, the, you can buy apps where you can press password protect them. Put it in your phone somewhere. Get a notebook. Buy a journal that you can lock. I want you to take some time to journal these things, these limitations that you have. But now that, now that you've identified what these limitations are, let's discuss how to overcome them. First of all, you're going to have to challenge your limiting beliefs. Excuse me, got the yawns, my apologies. Our thoughts have so much power over our reality. So it's essential that we have to reframe our negative thoughts into positive ones. Every time we have a negative thought, we have to stop that thought. And we have to turn that into a positive one. So, for example, if you think I'm not good enough to, to succeed, you have to change that to I am capable to succeed. I will grow. I will learn. I am capable of that. I am unstoppable. I am competent. Create some affirmations that go with the things that you are constantly thinking negative about. So when that negative thought comes to your mind, you immediately turn that thing around and start saying something positive so that you can train your mind to stop in its tracks. Secondly, you have to face those fears head on. Fear is a powerful force. It's a powerful emotion that can hold you back. It can hold you back. Fear is so negative. It's so forceful. It's of the enemy. 
Fear is of the enemy. It is dangerous. Fear is dangerous. But when you confront that thing, you can move forward so fast. You can take control. I want you to create a plan to gradually expose yourself to your fears and build confidence in your ability to handle every single one of those fears. I remember as a child when I was scared of the dark, I'd run down the hallway. I'd run so fast. And I'd be like, I made it. Nobody grabbed me. I did it. And then I'd do it again the next night. And I'd do it again the next night. And nobody was getting me. The booger man didn't get me. And then I would go outside to the car. And I'd run, and nobody would get me. And then I'd run down the, our, our driveway. Nobody would get me. That's how you face your fears. Whatever it is, do it over and over and over again. And once you see nothing bad is going to happen to you, you will conquer that thing. I used to be scared to do podcasts. And now I love I love doing podcasts. I'd rather do podcasts than almost anything else. And my husband said the other night, how are you making money talking? <laughs> I said, you don't worry about it. You just don't worry about it. I love doing podcasts. Don't you worry about it. So do those things. Do those things. That cause you fear. And then all of a sudden you won't be afraid of them anymore. I used to be scared of a needle getting a shot at the doctor's office, them drawing blood. And now I could do it every day. Having a baby will get you past that. I used to could not swallow a pill. My mom had to go the expensive route. She had to buy liquids because I couldn't swallow a pill. Be like, it gags me. I'm going to throw up. Now I can swallow a whole handful, big ones, all at one time. It took practice. It took practice doing it over and over and over again. I could probably name many things. Now you don't catch me jumping off of any bungee cord yet. Yet, although we do have a big rope hanging from a tree out at our cabin, goes into the river, I might do that. Because that reminds me of a bungee because it's way up high. But I may have to start there. But you see, you start small and, and you go bigger and you go bigger and you go bigger until you face these things, until you take control of your life. You create a plan and you expose yourself until you build up so much confidence in your ability. You cultivate this strong support system. You surround yourself with people who believe in you. I had a team of people who believed in me that I could do podcasts. I had a team of people who believed that I could get into a helicopter for the first time. And I loved it. I had people who believed I could give blood. I had people who believed in me that I could wear braces. I had people who believed in me that I could do a video. I had people who believed in me that I could shoot a video with no makeup on. I have people who believe in me that that I'm going to be making even more multi-million. We can do this, people. We can do this. If you are poor, you can be average. If you're not making any money, you can make money. If you're making small money, you can make medium money. If you're making medium money, you can make a lot of money. If you are making a lot of money, you can make a lot more money. You can do this. I know you can. 
I am where I'm at today without that college degree. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Do it as though there are no limits on you. Remove the limits. Surround yourself with people who believe in you. Encourage your growth. Let people provide you constructive feedback so that you can get better. You do not have to do this alone. There are people everywhere who want to support you, give you guidance. Let them be a sign of strength to you. Let them be a sign of strength. You can create a limitless life with a better understanding and the most powerful self and the tools you can become limitless. Let's discuss how you can redirect your life towards limitless potential. You can do it with setting clear expectations, clear, specific, and measurable goals for yourself. Measurable goals. Start small if you have to. Then build them bigger. Visualize your ideal life and then break it down into actionable steps, achievable steps. Start with the end in mind. Build it backwards. You can do it. Prioritize your personal growth and development and invest in yourself and never, ever, ever, ever stop learning. Never, ever stop learning. Most importantly, I want you to practice self-compassion and patience. Change takes time. It takes time. It takes patience. And it's crucial to remember that progress is not linear. You also have to embrace setbacks, curves in the road, bumps in the road. There's going to be opportunities for you to learn and grow, but you have to want it. And then you have to celebrate your successes, no matter how small they are. No matter how small. I believe in you. Thank you for joining me today on this podcast. You have no idea how much I love you, how much I appreciate you, and how much I want you to succeed. You are my mission. You are my passion. And I want you to know and to remember that you have the power to create the life that you desire personally, professionally, and financially. You have what it takes. You have what it takes. It just takes believing in yourself. It takes believing in yourself. If you enjoyed this podcast, Please make sure that you subscribe, share it with a friend. Your support helps us reach so many more people. As I interview entrepreneurs, small business owners to help them get their reach out into the world, get their word out to the world, get my word out to the world and help people like you. We depend upon subscribers and the shares. Until next time, I want you to keep pushing your boundaries. And I want you to remember that your most powerful self is waiting for you to take the next step. And until the next episode, which will be soon, goodbye. And I love you. I love you. Bye.